40. Someone doesn't want to get up with us. <laughs> We're heading to the house. We got the HVAC guy coming today and I have to work. So they were like, we got some stuff we need to get done. What can we do? Wake up really early and get to the house and get work done before I have to work. Yes. Also, yeah, we're meeting with the air guy. We're trying to get a quote for, to see how much... There's a fly. <laughs> we're trying to see how much uh, putting mini splits in would be because there's a swamp cooler in there, evaporative cooler in there right now, but it just does not work in the summer heat. Um, yeah. Granted, we are in there Busting the, in, in the hottest months of the year. And we're also working. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not excited for that bill to pay that. Yeah. Bill. Yeah. But I'm excited for AC. All right. It's official. First work from home day. The bar room has turned into our makeshift bedroom. It's really big in here. It's it is. It's spacious. Um. It's Monday. Kristen's got to work. Yeah. So she's set up on this table, folding table. You didn't want to put like a blanket or anything on it? You know, I thought about that when I was unboxing my Kylie PR kit, and I was like, wow, this is a really ugly backdrop. Yeah, so while she's working today, um, my mom is coming back out because she's a very good painter. Um, yeah, let the fun begin. So we just got a quote from an AC guy to put some mini splits in the house. He said it would be around eight to nine thousand dollars, and they're a couple weeks behind. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to make this happen. I like thinking about ways that we can make it happen. Um, so we're gonna try and do that because people need AC and heat when they come here. Fun times. Reality. Um, <laughs> working and part time living. And yeah, the house is a mess. Looks like a hoarder's nest. Really? But like from the outside, because we got sheets covering the windows. And then <laughs> we are making breakfast burritos. This one's yours because it has more egg. Okay. Okay. Ooh, is that enough sriracha for you? Yeah. Well, my dad put in the, uh, look at the, um, can lights. Took out that old 70s light. Put in can light. Michael's dad is a genius when it comes to drywalling and patching holes and creating things just in general. And he helped us patch the hole that the massive 70s original light in the kitchen created and put two can lights in. He also moved the light that was above the kitchen sink to the center of the sink because everything is a little off in this kitchen. We're trying to make it as centered as possible without demoing the whole wall because we can't afford to do that right now. So we are making it work and thank God for Scott because he did such a great job. Last room. Of course I'm gonna get your butt. Let's see the butt though. That's what's gonna get those views. Yeah, it's hot. All right, so I'm leaving Kristen in here. She is uh, finishing the ceiling in that room. She's been working all day. It's about four o'clock now. She's been working all day from her laptop. Um, and now we're swapping. That's the last room that we have to do the ceiling for. This just needs to be sanded. And then I'm gonna put a coat on it. This just needs to be sanded. 
and this needs to be sanded and we're gonna put, it's really shiny and smooth right now. So we're gonna make it match these ceilings um, that we did with the joint compound. So the kitchen, I can't wait till this kitchen is nice and clean and it just looks like trash right now, but I gotta go get some work done. So fun times. Second coat on the bedroom. Second coat. On the sunset bedroom. And then we have one more coat in the kitchen to do. Finn is just awkwardly standing here. Yeah, Finn, foremaning, general contractor. We got my mom in here. She's doing, look at it, she did the ceilings. This is Swiss coffee. She's painting away. Her hourly rate is $500 if you want to hire her. <laughs> and then in here, we have dad doing, oh, he's been doing the lights and he's moving, this light was in an awkward spot. So he's been moving it over the center of the kitchen sink so we can hang a light from there. So yeah, that's the updates. We're trying to minimize dust as much as possible because these floors are a nightmare to clean. So that's the update. Look at our mess. Welcome. a.m. they go from 6 to 2 so we're gonna go check it out it looked interesting online so I'm excited to see if we'll find any gems for the house there we slept in the bar last night which I was a little apprehensive about but it actually turned out really nice and it, it's a lot cooler this weekend last weekend it was 108 109 and this weekend it's only gonna to get to 91 so yes it feels so good out here look how beautiful our drive is and then we're gonna get to sanding the ceilings. Can't wait to do that. But we're trying to get some fun stuff in between so that we don't feel like we're too slammed with everything.
ceiling is sanded and ready to paint. I need a nap now. Who wants to come help me clean all this up? Can you see my footprint in the... No, I can't see that, but there is a huge layer of dust, so... Woo! I think it's time for a shower. bad boy today hopefully we can grind that paint off way faster with this Watch the YouTube video. Let's try this. So after many failed attempts of getting this thing to work, we watched some YouTube videos and we learned that you have to really control this thing because once you press the trigger, it just shoots off to one side. So it took us about 45 minutes to really get the hang of it. Here you can see my dad getting it down first, but it's still going all over the place. Once we figured it out, it took us, um, I think, around two hours per room to get everything ground down. And as you can see, it left this mud of cement and paint, which was a headache to clean up, but it did get the job done. I'm just like Billy Madison. Okay. Yeah, you are. You have shorts and boots that are dirty. This is Frank's shirt. <laughs> you know all of these quotes. Yeah, I'm pissed. Michael's upset. We're gonna get him a sweet treat at Starbucks. He just ground the floors for hours with his dad. Insert video here. We've been to Home Depot twice today. Rented a tool for like 200 bucks. It did the job. But there's nothing worse than when you finish a job. And it's not done. And it's not done. So now, now we have to go back to the house. Which Home Depot is like 20 minutes away from where so we it's are. not bad. It's not bad, but it's not close. Um, it's like an hour round trip. So there's like a, the concrete that we ground up mixed with the water and the paint creates a sludge there's like a film on the ground now so we have to go home and figure out how to clean that so that's our next venture after drive through starbucks yeah starbucks for dinner finn's ready for a puppuccino that's for sure it's a faux show you want puppuccino dude yeah he does. yeah he does he has come with us on every adventure and we call it an adventure He's not happy about it. Cheers. <laughs> Came outside to clean off my joint compound spatulas and realized the craziest clouds are coming toward us right now.
we get our first storm. That'd be really cool. It's rained a little bit here while we've been here already. Not today, but another day. Michael's just worried about all our wood that we may try to repurpose eventually. It is windy. It's been windy all day. Clouds have been in and out. I'm just so excited. Look at that. Nature. Uh, a nice cup of pho dinner. It was like a, you pour boiling water in it for three minutes. Watching some YouTube on our folding table and the power went off. Finn seems fine. He was a little alerted. Finn's just ready for bed. So all the lights are out, you think? Yeah, because usually you can see... Oh, careful of the cactus. Usually you can see the gas station, other houses. Yeah. There's some off-grid homes over there that are lit up. Just the moon. Michael's mom told me to bring candles. So I brought my candles from our house in NoHo. Good thing I did. friend had little pups starting off of them so we're gonna pot these and they will be part of the landscaping you got all these there yeah how much were they a dollar each amazing for the 15 buckets and then we can play with them later with Dawson well there's I'm pretty <laughs> skinny in the bottom of it. it won't work um, for the little ones, we were thinking we can use the um, red solo cup. Oh, nice. Yeah. We have so many of those. Just until we decide exactly where in the yard we want to put them. They had potting soil there, too? Yeah. They have everything. Amazing.
so we're supposed to be finishing painting, but we took Finn out to go pee and we just had a wild hair. No. <laughs> Creating our pathway. So these were from the property. They're just kind of sitting around there. It's our big, big front yard. And over here. I don't have gloves on, so I'm not helping. I'm just filming. I think that's fine. I don't even know if we need this little one. I don't think so. Cute. That's cool. Yeah, we straightened it out a little bit because it was curving too much. Like and now it's cute, yeah, and then we're gonna landscape over here. Yeah, and do a little seating area over here. I don't know if I like the white, but because everything else is regular natural wood. Just flip it on its side. It's sanded. Oh, it's all white. There we go. Just Is that okay? That's that's it's not great, you're right. Okay, just leave it this down. This side's better. No? Yeah, no. Leave it on the other side. You can find a different one. I'm just being silly. It's fine. Cool. I was saying maybe we put rocks here and do our landscaping, like white or gray or something. And Michael said, no, he doesn't like that idea because why? I didn't say I didn't like that idea. I said that I kind of am thinking. I think you're bleeding right here. Or it's ketchup. Probably ketchup. <laughs> you're saying you're thinking what? Well, I remember when I came out here in every main places. Places, remember all the places, I mean, the place we stayed? Like, if it's too nice and, and like coming from the city, yeah. like I felt like I was not in the city. Like, it's just desert and I think that's the appeal. We're here all the time, so it's like, oh, maybe we should make it nice, but it's like, it's freaking dirt. Yeah, it's freaking dirt. It's freaking dirt. That's cute. Literally, this house, the way that this shot is framed right now, literally looks like a hoarder, like a, a meth den. Oh no. With shit on the windows, just a mattress, the walls all messed up. It'll look nice soon, I promise. It will look nice soon. The rest of the house. But the ceilings, though, those are nice. So, we've been here for a week now, the entire week just working. We got pretty much everything we wanted done, done before we left for our family vacation. So the only, my only regret is not finishing these concrete floors. They're gonna look so nice, but I still need to come in with the grinder and do these little spots. And then we need to clean them and seal them and then baseboards and paint, and then we can start putting furniture in so we can actually sleep in a bedroom and not the bar room. A lot of work. And the kitchen's next. The kitchen and the bathroom. And the bar room. And then, and then the bar room. And then furnishing it all. So, probably got another month's worth of work, right? We're enjoying it, we're just tired. Yes. Time for a little massage, a little coconut drink by the pool. Yeah. Just looking forward to a pina colada. Well, the next shot will be on the beach in Mexico. 